<laughs> Larry? It is, isn't it? Sad Larry. How's it going, buddy? Good, I guess. Oh, what's got you down this time? Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> well, you know what cheers me up after a lot of nothing gets me down? <sighs> what? I dance. How should I do? And how about you? Sick of your shit, Larry. Fuck your dick. <laughs> Back to HQ, Agent 7. Fantastic work on your recent mission, Agent 7. Ah, Agent 7. It seems you have returned from Peru in one piece. Did you enjoy your time in the Peruvian wilds? Ha! <laughs> if I never see another abandoned limestone quarry full of poisonous insects again, it'll be too soon. It's a good thing you gave me that ski pole that doubles as a grappling hook. Quite ingenious. I'm glad it could aid you in your mission, Agent 7. Ah, yes. That reminds me. Come see what I have available for your next mission. Now, see here, Agent 7. This may look like an ordinary pen. Yes, but it's no ordinary pen, is it, Clue? Correct, Agent 7. It is a rather extraordinary pen that doubles as a miniature explosive. Just click the pen once to arm the explosive, click twice to disarm the explosive, and click three times to arm the vibrating function. Moving on. This Slow down there, Clue, old boy. I get that it's a concealed explosive, but why does it vibrate? Ah, uh, yes. That's to stimulate the prostate. Now, where were we? Clue, I think you might need a holiday. Being down here in the lab is starting to get to you. I've never felt better. Moving on, this is a top-of-the-line titanium flashlight. A must-have for any agent. It works under water, has an eight-hour battery life, and when you unscrew the cap, you'll find a synthetic vagina. Clue! Why would I need a fake vagina? My mission is in the mountains of Tibet, not the brothels of Germany. I assure you this is all imperative to complete your mission. Which brings me to the next gadget. A fully loaded FNP-90 compact assault rifle with attached silencer. Now we're talking. That shoots Lou. Clue, you are really losing it in your old age. Not now, Agent 7. I must inform you on the new upgrades to your car. I added a motorized Sibian to your driver's seat and a briefcase that sprays a gas-based aphrodisiac when opened. But wait, I, I... Agent 7, we need you to depart for your mission. Board the plane immediately so you do not miss your halo jump. boy. Why doesn't it open? <gasps> oh, am I... Am I dead? Oh, no! I, I'm dead! Oh, God! I'm, I'm a ghost! Oh, wait. <laughs> They're just not open yet. Whoo! Well, hello there, shopkeep. Good morning. Oh, God. I am dead. I died, and now I'm a ghost! This isn't fair! It isn't fair! How's my favorite blind deaf employee doing? Fantastic! Oh, he's just blind and deaf. Oh, thank God. I'm alive. I'm... No! No, 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 no! 
No! I'm dead! No! How could this... Oh, phew! It's just a hologram. <laughs> I thought... Oh, no! No! This can't be possible! I can't be dead! It's too soon! Oh, thank God! It's just my twin brother. <laughs> ah! Oh, wait! It's just my reflection! Man! So, uh, he does this forever? Yep! Sweet! I'm wow. not dead! That's fucked up! Oh, no! This is it, Larry. You're finally gonna do something right. What, what happened? Is this hell? Fire in the hole! Hey, cry baby! Try to move pillows here! Good night, son. Get some sleep this time, alright, buddy? I will. Atta boy. I can't believe we're doing this. Yeah. Let me just get you right over here. I'll lift your leg up a little bit. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you ready for my big surprise? Oh, now I'm just gonna... No. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, how about that? Oh. Larry? Oh, God, Larry? Larry? What are you doing? Oh. Stop. And none of the kittens survived. In other news... The Delberry Dismember is on the loose again and has so far completely alive. So get your running shoes on, folks, and if you hear a chainsaw, move those feet. Back to the And your neck is broken, and pretty much everything else, too. Long story short, Larry, you're very lucky to be alive. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? <laughs> Great, that's lunch. <laughs> Run for your lives! It's the Delberry Dismemberer! No! Whisperer welcomes you. What brings you to the doorstep of the dead? <laughs> My husband. Dad passed away last year. It, it was so sudden. It's been difficult. <laughs> Any type of closure would help me. Help us. Ah, yes, I see. Please, allow me to conjure up your father's ghost. <laughs> I have crossed the ethereal plane! I can feel the spirits all around! That'll be $85. Oh, uh, do you have change for a hundred? I accept tips! God, you stupid fridge. Yes! Yes! He is here! Theodore! Your son and wife are here! What would you like to say to them? He says... Boo! Boo? Boo? Wait! There's more! Boo! 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 
Oh! Oh, wow. Very funny, lady. Come on, Mom. I told you she was a fraud. <laughs> You're sick! No, wait! He, he keeps saying boo! 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 What does it mean? Boo! It means you're a terrible medium! Boo! Boo! You're a terrible medium! Boo! 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 You're not a medium! You're an extra large! Boo! <coughs> I really think that, you know, a lot of makeup goes a long way. Maybe you should try some and, oh, excuse me. What'll it be, big guy? I'll take a one dollar shot, please. Whiskey. Just so you know, it's ladies' night, so your shot comes to a total of two dollars. But the sign says one dollar shots. That's for women only, pal. Exactly. And I am a woman. Ha! Wow, you must really want this drink. I'm serious. I'm a girl. I have a vagina. No, you don't. Yes, I do. <laughs> Come on. I'm serious. Nuh-uh. Yeah, huh? Oh, yeah? And how do I know you're telling the truth? Oh, why don't you reach down there? What? No way! I'm not reaching down there! Come on, give it a quick touch. You'll like it. Sorry, pal. I'm not gay. Then touch my vagina. Look, buddy, I, I, I really don't. Look, I won't tell anyone. Just see for yourself. Ha! <sighs> 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 Made you touch my dick for a dollar. <sighs> <laughs> Looking good. Oh, hey! Uh, good seeing you. It's, 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 how's it? I've got a, um, it was good seeing you. What can I get you, sir? How about a beautiful woman? Yourself will do nicely. Oh, you've come back from the war! I want it for you, baby doll. For us. You and me. We're... Made for each other. Can you imagine going through life alone? Without true love? That sure would be awful. I hate to even think about it. Don't worry. There's no one like that out there. Everyone finds true love eventually. Unless you just really suck. Yeah, good point. Thank you so much. Oh, <laughs> you're very welcome. Maybe we could grab a... Uh... Give me your purse! <gasps> huh? Oh. 
One, please. Sad Mary? Is that you? It is, isn't it? Sad Mary! How's it going? Oh, hey. <clears throat> What can I get you? <laughs> How about a beautiful woman? Y yourself will do nicely. Are you making fun of me? No, 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 I, I, I I'm sorry. L let me start again. Sick of this shit! God damn it! Ah! Police department. Hello? Hello? Can you send the ghost cops? Uh, there's no such thing as ghost cops, ma'am. What? Sure there is. There's a theme song and everything. No, 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 ghost cops. Uh, we can send real cops instead. Oh, okay. There's a ghost in my house and he won't leave. We'll be right there. It's me! You don't have to hurt him! Stand back, ma'am! We're trained professionals! Why can't he feel my beatings of justice? I, I think this perp isn't really here. What the hell does that even mean? I think his soul has been stripped from his mortal coil, leaving his tormented essence forever trapped to our physical plane. So what you're saying is I can't shoot him? Yes, that's precisely what I'm saying. Oh, beans. Uh, whoops. Oh, fuck. Now there's two ghosts. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, but... Stop, Stop resisting! Resistance. Stop you resisting, got sir! On him, sir. Reaching for Stop my guns! I saw Mrs. Gardner at the store today. That's nice, dear. Say, where's Patrick? He should be home from school by. Oh my, uh, hello, Patrick. He wants to confess something, I think? What, you're gay? Bullshit, you're the gayest kid in the world. Stanley! What, he is? to be gay? Susie, both of you! He's trying to tell us something. Yeah, ice cream cone! You jerk off elephants. You think the Jews did 9-11? That's fucked up! You're gay? I already said that one. You're, uh, you're Adolf Hitler! You're dancing cupcake? You think that certain folks should sit at the back of the bus? Chocolate. You can only get off to 1920s pornography. I like the alligator thing. Are you an alligator? I'm a fucking mime! Huh. Well, you're not a very good one. I'm a gay dancing cupcake. Gay dancing cupcake. Are you a gay dancing cupcake? Yeah! Wow, that's great! You're so talented. <laughs> Okay, kids, on three. One, two, three! <laughs> Here, have a cookie, Larry. Oh, thanks. I'm glad you could make it, Larry. Everyone needs a place to go on Christmas. <sighs> sure. 
Thanks, Mrs. S. Oh, I think it's Larry's turn to open one. Look, kids, Larry got his own fuzzy dice to put in his, his, uh, oh, oh, sorry about that, Larry. Uh, we didn't know the car was totaled in the accident. That's fine. Oh, the mug. I mean, look, sure, your dad's in the hospital, but, uh, I mean, you survived, right? <laughs> Am I... Oh, jeez. Kids, how about you go try out your new toys? Yay! I love toys. Hey, uh, holding up there, Lair. <sighs> Not so good. You know, my father's in the hospital, too. It looked hopeful at first, but... Now we're not sure he's gonna make it. Now who could be calling on Christmas morning? Hello? Really? Oh, it's a miracle! Everyone, Dad's gonna be okay! He's gonna make it home Yay! for dinner! I know. Oh, oh high five, son. Got it, Dad. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry about your dad. <laughs> Thanks for helping out, Larry. No problem. Dinner's gonna be ready any minute now. Great, Grandpa. Grandpa's home. He's here. I've Grandpa. missed you, Rat, so much, and I. Uh, you're not my son. <laughs> That's funny. My dad used to say the same thing. <laughs> dad, this is Larry. He's gonna be having dinner with us, which I think is just about. Let's eat. <laughs> everyone, everyone, quiet down for the prayer. All right, whenever you're ready, Larry. Oh, uh, no, no, I'd rather not. In our house, the guest says grace. I really don't think I should. Just say the damn prayer, dear Lord. Um, thank you for this bountiful meal that we're about to receive. Could have done without my dad being on his deathbed and everything. But a place to live would be pretty nice, too, if that's not too much trouble. I think what Larry's trying to say is, let's all enjoy this meal. Dad or no dad. I love you, Dad. Amen! Amen. Let's eat the damn turkey already! <laughs> uh, so, Dad, tell us about the hospital. What? Who the? Larry, Larry, you're not going to believe this. It's the hospital. <gasps> they want to put you on the phone <gasps> with your dad. <gasps> Here. Dad? Uh, Larry? Dad? Larry, this is my last chance to tell you. <laughs> to tell you that. <laughs> to tell you that it was all your fault, Larry. It's all your fault. <laughs> it's all you gave. Get it. Dad? <laughs> dad? The patient is flatlining. We're losing him. Is it the old man that's alone on Christmas? No, no, the one with the worthless son. So? Time of death, 6.36 p.m. Anyway, Larry, when you're uh, done crying there, would you mind helping me out back? Slow down, Larry. There's a fleeting patch of ice coming up. Uh, I don't see anything. Oh, I'm telling you. Look, right up there. Dad, I drive this road all the time. Larry, slow down. What are you doing, Larry? My leg is stuck! No, no, don't pull it! No, don't pull my leg! Do that, would you, Larry? What? Uh, no. No, no, I wouldn't. <gasps> uh, I, I mean, hold on. What was the quest? Get out. But I, I didn't know what I was- Out. Ha <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>